you and Kingston have to pay. Kill you, motherfucker. Interfere with the factor. Come in in my business. Just remember, I heard you, bitch. DJ Hyde, Monster Mac, D Factor, Havoc. Last month, you walked out on me. You left me high and dry. You had a chance to be a part of the biggest group in wrestling, the biggest group in Jersey All Pro, and you blew it. So March 8th, Jersey City, you got a big problem. You got a blackout problem, and we're coming full force, and we're gonna take you out. You guys ain't got nothing. You think you got money? You think you got girls? You got women? You got nothing. March 8th, Jersey City, blackout, bitch. to resurrect his career. Um, does he have the fire in his belly? Is he gonna last this time? How long is this guy gonna be around? What do you think? Well, at our last event in Reclaiming Hudson County, Xavier defeated Sunjay Dutt in a rematch from their matchup at Season's Meetings. So he comes into this matchup with a win. The second combatant in this matchup, a young upstart in Jersey All Pro Wrestling, comes all the way from... But wrestling is almost basically, it's like getting right back on the bike, getting on the trail trails again and see what you made out of. Right now, Xavier, his body condition, I've seen him in way better than the condition he is right now. But mentally, where is he at? That's what it matters at a wrestler. Where you at mentally? Well, his opponent right here tonight, one of his opponents, traveled over eight hours via plane from Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada. Kenny Omega is trying to make a big impact. And with the two wrestlers he's facing in this matchup, if he comes out with a victory here tonight, he will jumpstart his career, not just in Jersey All Pro Wrestling, but in the entire independent scene today. Well, I ain't gonna perpetrate a fraud, yo. I see Xavier, you know, he's a bouncer at nightclubs. That's what he do after this, you know, after wrestling and whatnot. I see him throw way better wrestlers, I mean, way better people in the nightclub out than this guy. Trust me on that one. What is he got a Jerry Curl? I ain't, what is this? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what he looks like. He's a tremendous wrestler, and if he, if he wasn't, he wouldn't be in this matchup. And here comes the third person to be involved in this three-way dance. But yo, put your money where your mouth is. If it doesn't matter how they look like, who you going for tonight then, huh? Who you think's gonna win? Put your money where your mouth is, baby. My boy, boy. Jersey All Pro Wrestling. Some of the fans hate him. I'd say 90% of the fans in this building on their feet, showing respect, showing love for Teddy Hart. And then they, they did the exact same thing at reclaiming Hudson County. The crowd of over 600 strong counted every moonsault that Teddy Hart did in that matchup. Did I think 15 or 16 moonsaults. He got hit over the head with a beer bottle by Homicide in a three-way matchup with Homicide and Kingston. Tonight's a different story, but just as dangerous a match for Teddy Hart. You want to talk about an extraordinary athlete, a phenomenal athlete? You sum it all up in one word right here. It's Teddy Hart, baby. He does it all. But right now, he got somebody breathing without his neck. It's 187 Homicide. Nobody likes this guy in the locker room. He really doesn't care if anybody likes about him as he comes out here and shows his best to the crowd. The former Jersey All Pro Wrestling heavyweight champion Teddy Hart was stripped of that title for unprofessional behavior. Was out of Jersey All Pro Wrestling for almost a year. Made a surprise return at the 10th anniversary anniversary show and since coming back to JAP full-time it seems like Teddy Hart has new life in him 
feeds off the crowd even more than he did before. You know what, since Michael Jackson put out that album back out again, they Thriller, I'm going to take something off that album. He's going to put me in a state of shock if he wins tonight, because I know Xavier in the back, when I looked in his eyes, he said he's not going to ever lose a match again. So let's see tonight what he's made out of. We'll find out Teddy Hart, Xavier, and Kenny Omega, this three-way dance. And you wonder, Teddy Hart and Kenny Omega, both coming from Canada, you think they're going to double-team Xavier in the beginning parts of this matchup. It's an elimination match, so you think they're going to try to eliminate Xavier first. Uh, well, well, Xavier from America, he know he has no friends. Well, there's definitely no friends again. This elimination style matchup, what a tremendous matchup. This is going to be at wild card four, possibly the sleeper matchup of the night. Oh, yes, they started off with some quick arm drags. Now Xavier throws out the curling without the ring. Again, Teddy Hart making a surprise return at the 10th anniversary show, helping low key for the third time become the Jersey All Pro Wrestling Heavyweight Champion. And our last event, Jay Trainer, reclaiming Hudson County after the show. Low key was jumped in the locker room. We don't know what has happened. We understand low key was injured there, then subsequently got injured, torn some ligaments in his tour of Japan. Low key could be out for several months. We don't know the situation of the Jersey All Pro Wrestling Heavyweight Championship. Uh, yeah, well, we don't know the indication in that, but I know what's going on tonight. Teddy Hart, Xavier, and the Curly Heroin is on fire right now in Jersey All Pro Wrestling. Hey, oh, whoa, what a drop! Major error by Kenny Omega. It's like time stood still was when he was in the air, and he got Teddy with a drop kick flush to the face. Now Xavier taking advantage. Kenny Omega playing to the crowd for that split second. Xavier, the veteran he is, jumped him from behind, and now the momentum of this contest is with the all-around best. Well, Kenny Omega, he's in trouble, but he's getting a breather right now. Xavier right on top of Teddy Hart. Teddy Hart eats that turn. I'm gonna tell you something right now. That's unforgiving, that rail in the corner right there. That's unforgiving. And Xavier, you said he needs a fire in his belly. Xavier, quite a wrestler in the independent scene, a former Ring of Honor champion. But his success here in Jersey All Pro Wrestling has been very minimal. He was a JAP light heavyweight champion, but never lost the title, was stripped of that championship. Well, it's all about totally, totally dedicating yourself to one particular promotion and try to get the best out of it. He has to have tunnel vision. That's where the manager like me comes involved. You understand where I'm coming from? He don't have that. So right now, he's on his own, but he thinks he's gonna be able to figure it out. Right now, oh! And I notice all three athletes jockeying for position. You just saw the fire in the eyes. He had it right there, the fire in the eyes of Xavier as he powered over Teddy Hart and Kenny Omega. Again, the momentum of this contest now on the side of the all-around press. He's in that ring right now thinking he has to prove something. Well, oh, beautiful. That's classic Xavier right there. He who hesitates is lost, and it doesn't matter how long he's been out of wrestling. He's right back in here doing the same thing he was doing four or five years ago. It don't matter. That's a he's a tremendous athlete. Look at this. Teddy Hart now another moonsault. Oh. What happened is Teddy Hart springboard off the top rope and basically got caught by both Kenny Omega and Xavier. I think Teddy Hart is just as hurt as his two opponents. Now, let's just keep it real. Teddy Hart didn't want to be showed up. He showed up, you see the beautiful move by Xavier. He wanted to get up there and show those fans I could do one just as great, just as great as this individual could do. Hart is a hot dog. Oh, yeah. yeah, I wouldn't take that away. He's a hot dog. He, he's, he could do all the moves. Any other wrestler could do in this in this in this uh, in the locker room, but he could do it just a little bit better. Teddy Hart is that much better. Well, Teddy Hart has said on numerous occasions when when been interviewed here in Jersey All Pro Wrestling, he wrestles for the fans. The fans is what makes Teddy Hart click in that ring. So if he sees somebody like Xavier do a beautiful move, a beautiful springboard moonsault off of that top rope, Teddy Hart, what happened right there is he got jealous and definitely went to upstage the all-around best. I see, we go to Glory Hound, looking out for the fans for approval. The fans are gonna pay your bills, but you gotta go on that welfare line. It could, because you're losing in wrestling matches, the fans will do it a day for you, Teddy Hart. Come on, get a better head in that on your shoulders, boy. Now the veteran in this matchup, the all-around best, Xavier, looks to be in sound control, but Kenny Omega, beautiful backcracker on Teddy Hart. Teddy Hart screaming in pain. Xavier has Kenny Omega. Just hits him with that knee to the stern. Comes off. Beautiful clothesline. Almost decapitating Kenny Omega. Xavier with the hook of the leg, but only gets a two. I 
I thought Stan Hansen came back to life with that lariat right there. He took him out of his boots on that. We turned him inside out. Now he's on Q Street. What can he do? Teddy Hawks, keep it from behind. He knows he's sneaky. And the fans are just enthralled with this three-way dance up here at Wild Card 4. Get him, Teddy! Xavier now has Kenny Omega in no man's land, but here comes the Enigma. The self-professed savior of professional wrestling has Xavier. Kenny Omega off the top rope. Here we go. Powerbomb blockbuster combo by Omega and Teddy Hart. Yo, this right here is the sleeper match of the night. It's still in the show. There we go out the back window. Kenny Oklahoma roll by Kenny Omega, and just like that, I gotta call that an upset. Kenny Omega pinning Xavier in this matchup. It is what it is. If you call it like a what a backbreaker right there, Teddy Hart, man, eat your heart out. Eat your heart out on that one. Teddy Hart thought he was going for a power bomb, instead hit that backbreaker on Kenny Omega. And J Train, you hear the crowd here in Raleigh chanting for Teddy Hart. You know what, Teddy Hart loved these fans so much. When they started cheering his name right there, I'm surprised he didn't go in his pocket and put on a condo. Because he loved these fans. I can't stand them. As long as he's safe about it, who knows? <laughs> and Teddy Hart now, nice hangman's neckbreaker on Kenny Omega. And it looks like Teddy Hart has picked his body part. The back and the neck air of Kenny Omega must be screaming in pain. And Teddy Hart is definitely going to concentrate on that in this matchup. That right there, study on wrestling the tapes. The Andersons, the only Gene Anderson, everybody from the Anderson family. They said a three-legged like chair is no good to nobody. And that's what he's doing right now. He's breaking his guy down to the very last compound. But no matter what happens in this matchup, you got to believe that pin by Kenny Omega on Xavier has to make this guy stop. Up, just rise, continue to rise with that tremendous upset victory in this contest. Matter of fact, him pinning Xavier, honest with you, that's like the Giants beating the New England Patriots on that one, yo. It's unbelievable. That's an upset right there. Total upset. I, they have a chance in hell on that one. <laughs> I don't know about that. Anything can happen. Anything can happen to JMP. And right now, Kenny Omega taking it to the savior here. Hook of the leg. And Kenny Omega almost got the three count. Teddy Hart now with the cover, only gets a two. You're right, it's parody here at Jersey All Pro Wrestling. Everybody knows any given night, any given Saturday or Friday, you can lose here. That's why when you bring your bags in this locker room, you put on that, you put on those, those tights, you know you better go in there and fight for the fight of your life. Fight. Right now, Kenny Omega could be in the fight of his life. If he comes a nice scoop slam by Teddy Hart, hook of the leg. And Kenny Omega somehow able to get the shoulder up. And you gotta believe he's pinned one superstar in Xavier. What? How will this place erupt if Kenny Omega pins Teddy Hart here tonight? Wow. Hey, it would be a major upset. But I don't know Animal is eating his heart out in that power slam that he just gave to him. Animal, World Warrior Animal, you know what I'm talking about. That's usually the pinning, a pinning uh, move right there. But he was able to hook the. Uh oh. Teddy Hart, there it goes. Spike Power Driver. Spiked his head. Come on, he's trying to hurt the guy. Let's the name of the game come out with a pinball. Teddy with a cover. And Kenny Omega, at that last split second, didn't want, did not want to get pinned. Saw, you know, saw the light shining in his eyes and thought to himself, I have more to contribute to this matchup and kicked out after two. Teddy Hall could have picked him up, rolled up, up in a small package, or doing anything like that. But he's trying to hurt this guy. See, this guy has a family like, like everybody else does. He's not worried about that right now. You see Teddy Hart putting his body on the line. He missed. Very lucky on that one. Very lucky. He tried to go for the heart attack. Nobody home as Kenny Omega got out of the way. And now Omega, see, seeing that Teddy Hart is definitely worse for wear, just continues to pound away. Kenny Omega is thinking upset here tonight at Wild Card 4. That's all you better think of as an upset because he win this match. That's exactly what it's going to be. Oh. What a tremendous move. I would have caught that one. Nice suplex just caught Teddy Hart midair. Goes for a nice bridge. And Teddy Hart able barely to kick out. Hook up with the bridge, but it wasn't enough. Teddy Hart digging in deep right now. Gut check time. He's counting the ring lights right now. He who has the taste is lost. Omega, let's hurry up on this one. Kenny Omega now in the top rope. Teddy Hart laying motionless in the center of the ring. Kenny Omega and C-Stars leap up face. And Teddy Hart out of the way. Kenny Omega went for it all, but got nothing. The Jerry girl with no juice. What's he gonna go for here? Oh! Double underhook, flipped him around, almost 
like a Canadian destroyer like Petey Williams.